Shalom. This is part two of the third day agreement. Ephesians chapter four. We started off in one place at the cemetery. Because for all of us, for everybody, it's time to die, to repent. And now we're here at the place of dirty water. One thing we got to understand, one thing we know is that water represents knowledge. Good knowledge. The scripture says, you know, streams of water, pure water, water. But then we got dirty water, which means that uh, that's dirty knowledge, defiled knowledge. Let's stick to the script. Get the pure water. You think about this particular dirty water. Look at it. It's still. It's not even moving. It ain't even going nowhere. That's what dirty knowledge does. It doesn't even propel us forward for our purpose. So please, all of us, let's quit partaking with that dirty knowledge. A lot of times that's that knowledge we got within ourselves. So let's continue part two, Ephesians chapter four of the third day agreement. <sighs> Thank you, Father. You are good. Your grace, your mercy endures forever and ever is your faithfulness. Ephesians chapter four. We'll start off at 17. Therefore, I say this, indeed, in union with Yahweh, I insist on it. Do not live any longer as the pagans live with their sterile, right? Sterile way of thinking. Their intelligence has been shrouded in darkness and they are estranged from the life of God because of the ignorance, dirty knowledge, because of the ignorance within them, which in turn comes from Resisting Yahweh's will They have lost all feeling So they have abandoned themselves to sensuality And practicing any kind of impurity And always greedy for more Hallelujah And always greedy for more But this is not the lesson you learned from the Messiah If you really listened to him You were instructed about him Then you learned that since What is in the Messiah is truth Then so far as your former way of life is concerned, you must strip off your old nature. We must strip off our old nature. We must strip off our old nature. Hallelujah. We must strip off our old nature because your old nature, our old nature is thoroughly rotted by its deceptive desires. The old nature is rotted thoroughly to the core by its deceptive desires man i know about that i know y'all do too and you must let your spirits and minds keep being renewed keep being renewed and clothe yourself with the new nature created to be godly which expresses itself in the righteousness and the holiness that flow from truth you must clothe yourself in righteousness and godliness and holiness which expresses itself in truth hallelujah therefore stripping off the falsehood stripping off the falsehood therefore stripping off the falsehood let everyone speak truth with his neighbor because we are intimately related to each other as parts of one body be angry but don't sin don't let the sun go down before you have dealt with the cause of your anger otherwise you leave room for the adversary don't let the sun go down without dealing with that anger. Otherwise, you leave plenty of room. We leave plenty of room for the adversary. Thank you, Father. The thief must stop stealing. Instead, he should make an honest living by his own efforts. This way, he will be able to share with those in need. Let no harmful language come from your mouth. Only good words that are helpful in the meeting of the need. Only good words that are helpful in the meeting of the need. Words that will benefit those who hear them. Don't cause grief.